I am somewhat unique in a couple of ways as far as political candidates that you may be familiar with. Because I am someone that knows that yes, while you're on a budget, while you're cutting spending, well, there is something called the safety net. And one of the things that people like to talk about, well, you know, these guys, they want to cut the safety net, they want to, they want to just, re no. Well, see, what's unique about me is I'm a Republican that's actually had to use the safety net. I've actually spent a food stamp. I've actually had to use the state health insurance. I understand fully well, better than most, that the idea is not to burn the safety net. We just have to create an environment where fewer people have to live in it. That's my goal. And I will tell you something else, because we, you, we wanted to focus a little bit on poverty and the issues that surround that. Well, our young men, right here in New Haven and throughout the district, who are getting into trouble, uh, the young man who decides to go into business as the local cocaine distribution agent in his neighborhood has rejected a food stamp future. He has figured out that the government can help you get by, but you got to do something else if you want to come up. That's how the kids say it. What that means is they have figured out that in order to actually change your circumstance, you have to do something yourself above what the safety net actually gives you. Because they would rather, they would rather actually rise as far as they can and not where the government will keep you. Now, that young man has made a choice that ends only in death or incarceration. So our challenge as a society is to offer them different choices and show them that there are different choices. See, I was that kid. I was, the, I was that little black kid running around with no direction in the projects of Cleveland, Ohio. So I know full well what goes on and how one gets there and how one gets out. And what saves me, now I, was, I was raised by my great grandmother until I was about, I was in eighth grade. And at that time, she was too old to take care of me. And that last year, in fact, we moved like four times. So I actually flunked eighth grade. <clears throat> and I started eighth grade again, not with my great grandmother, but I was in an orphanage. I was in the Bessie Benner Metzenbaum Children's Center in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. And I gave up. I gave up. I actually stopped going to school. Don't listen to me, Mark, right now. I actually, I actually stopped going to school. What saved me was a friend of mine's father who said something to me that caught my attention. He said, Wayne and Rick, his son, he said, always strive for excellence. No matter what it is you do, always strive for excellence. Excellence will kick the bejesus out of poverty, prejudice, and adversity, and pretty much anything. And he showed me something. He showed me that there was another way to live. He showed me that there was a choice. Now, it was up to me to make it. Our children today, who are choosing non-positive ways to raise themselves, need to, be no, need to be given a choice. To put it in plain English, black folks like me, like my son, young white kids, young Hispanic kids, all of them, they don't need more food stamps, they need more role models. And government can't do that. We're in the house of God tonight. Well, when you are spreading the message, when you are bringing souls to God in whatever form that takes, what you are doing is you're offering a choice. 
you let people know that, guess what? There is a choice that you can make for your eternal soul. There is a choice that you can make to find your peace. You show them a choice. The same thing applies to our children, showing them a choice. And I believe that government is not good at raising our children. It's just not. You know who could better do that? Parents. And when there aren't any parents, you know who could do that? Really good? You. This church. You have youth ministries. Uh, there was a young man that started the, was the Enough program. A kid started that. That is people helping people, organizations, community. If it takes a village to raise a child, why in the world would you want the federal government to do it? <laughs>